Assalamualaikum guys hope you are all fine so today we are gonna talk about vitamin K in this lecture we are gonna talk about the source absorption storage excretion metabolic role function deficiency and toxicity of vitamin K vitamin K K for coagulation in German actually coagulation is a German word uh, and K stand for coagulation uh, it exists in two form in plant as phylloquinone or, or vitamin k1 and in the intestinal um, bacteria flora menaquinone or vitamin um, k2 okay in some books uh, mention vitamin k3 also which is known as menadione or uh, menadione and it is the synthetic form of vitamin now we're going to talk about the source source uh, of vitamin k is cabbage cauliflower spinach egg yolk and liver these are the first or the second um, source of vitamin K is actually the normal bacterial flora of GERD, especially uh, gram positive bacteria, uh, also synthesize vitamin K type 2. So, these are the two important sources from which vitamin K is obtained or derived. Now we're going to talk about the absorption storage and excretion. Absorption storage and excretion of the vitamin K is same um, as for other fat soluble vitamin. So it is just similar to the other fat soluble vitamin. So it's not important to discuss here. Now we're going to talk about the metabolic role of vitamin K. Vitamin K have, uh, K have two metabolic roles. The first one is the principal role of vitamin K is to act as a coenzyme in the post-translational modification of various clothing factor. Uh, various clothing factor, for example, clothing factor 2, 7, 9, 10, protein S and protein C. So it acts as a coenzyme for these clothing factor. The modification is mainly the carboxylation of certain glutamic acid which is present in these gluten factor. So uh, vitamin K acts as a coenzyme. Coenzyme for what? Coenzyme for the carboxylation of glutamic acid which is present actually in these gluten factor. If these uh, gluten, uh, glutamic acid is carboxylate so these uh, gluten factor become activated and it perform its function. So these are the metabolic role of vitamin K. Now we're gonna talk about the function. Okay. Vitamin K actually two main function. The first one is the gamma carboxy glutamate formation, and the second one is the interaction of prothrombin with platelet. Gamma. Uh, okay. Vitamin K is required in the hepatic synthesis of prothrombin and other blood clothing factor uh, for example 2, 7, 9, 10, protein S and C okay these clothing factor require vitamin K dependent gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid present in these clothing, fa clothing factor clothing factor with gamma carboxylate glutamic acid in them are the mature clothing factor the uh, the carboxylation reaction required not only vitamin k it also required oxygen and carbon dioxide but the oxygen and carbon dioxide plus vitamin k combine combine and perform this function but vitamin k is required in hydroquinone form so it is most important remember and maybe ask in viva or mcqs then which form of vitamin is used in um, carboxylation or use has a coenzyme so it, it is hydroquinone form so it is remember okay second is the interaction of prothrombin with platelet the second function is the interaction of prothrombin with platelet actually um, in this uh, function uh, gamma carboxylate residue of prothrombin combined combined with oxygen uh, sorry combined with the calcium uh, ion the prothrombin calcium complex then bind to platelet which are essential for blood clotting attachment to prothrombin calcium complex to platelet cause the proteolytic conversion of prothrombin into thrombin uh, which is the active form of vitamin uh, and as a result which promote clotting uh, clotting so these are the two important functions related to vitamin K. Now we're going to talk about the deficiency. Okay. Deficiency of vitamin K. The first one is the vitamin K deficiency is rare because adequate amount are produced by the intestinal bacterial flora or obtained from diet. 
Second one is deficiency result is decreased carboxylation uh, of glutamate uh, glutamate residue present in clo uh, clothing factor required for coagulation. Uh, mm, the factor involved is 2, 7, 9, uh, 10, protein S and protein C. So it is must remember because it uh, may be asked in viva which clothing factor are for which clothing, uh, clothing factor vitamin K is required. The third one is uh, uh, since clothing factor are not carboxylate they remain inactive. These inactive clothing factor are unable to convert prothrombin to thrombin which, uh, which eventually result in hypoprotothrombinemia. Uh, uh, hypoprotothrombinemia is actually uh, caused and hence prolonged prothrombin time and clothing time um, occur. So increased tendency to bleed and from minor wounds so it more danger uh, cases and as a result more bleeding occur uh, bleeding occur most uh, commonly from git urinary tract and uterus now we're going to talk about the toxicity toxicity prolonged administration of large dose of vitamin k can produce hemolytic anemia and joindus in an infant due to uh, toxic effect of membrane of RBCs. So these are the toxic effect of vitamin K. Vitamin K is so simple, but just remember that it has a coenzyme for the carboxylation of glutamic acid and uh, act for which clothing factor, the fact, uh, factor 2, 7, 9 and uh, 10 and protein S and C deficiency is very real and cause hemolytic anemia, joint this in infant and hypoprotothrombinemia. So these are the small discussion related to vitamin. Hope you can understand. Thanks for watching.